Women, it's women, it's women never admit this. This is why so many women are single. I think her, <laughs> it's interesting. It's interesting. And then here, let's, let's watch a bit of this and then you guys can tell me what you think. She's doing her best. She's loading. Shh, don't, don't yell at her. She's working on it. It's so weird because like my internet's fine, but it keeps doing this. It's very strange. I'm woman. I'm single. Well, T, this may help you. Okay. Are, are you also a brat with a bad attitude? That's something you have to ask yourself. Or anything like that, but I just thought it was so refreshing as a woman to hear another woman saying this And I'm sure that as mostly men watching you will find this refreshing too So I'm gonna show you guys just so that we're all on the same page and then we're gonna talk about it We need to have a chat and don't get mad at me Who's worse this girl or the red-haired incel girl? This girl isn't an incel girl. She's not a she's not a fem cell She's not a fem cell Think of me like your older sister. Been there. Done. It says he's not intimidated by you on the top of the video. I've already experienced this, learned the lesson myself. So now She's I just pretty. want to teach you the lesson so that you can be honest with yourself. Um, that man did not end things with you or ghost you because he's too intimidated by you. Stop convincing yourself of that. Stop letting your friends convince you of that. People used to say that to me, so I used to say it all the time when things didn't work out with a guy. I have been pretty successful from, from a pretty young age. And one of the things about me at that time was that like I made my whole personality trait. Like didn't need anybody for anything. Work like came first. Um, I just, I was a little more on the like argumentative, like highly opinionated, which I am a highly opinionated person, but like it was just a different way. And people used to say that to me, oh, well, they're just so intimidated by you. And I ate that shit up until finally it came to my senses and matured. And I was like, well, I'm not dating insecure men. So I don't think that the men I date who are like successful, have their shit together, you know, pretty confident are ending it with me because they're like, they're, they're intimidated. They think I'm too good for that. I just don't think that that's necessarily true. What I've learned and realized is that they just don't like it. Like if you are argumentative, why would they spend their time with you when there's someone else who's not? Or if your whole life is about not needing anybody and just like, oh, I can do this, I can do that because I'm like so successful and work is everything to me. Then like, why would they want that in a partner when there's someone who's more like open to being like a team rather than so like independent? Um, the only time it'd probably be true if a man was intimidated by you would be if he had significantly less going for him than you do like successful you make a ton of money you travel you live in a nice place whatever and he's like between why is this a tiktok you know tiktok is the most popular word like app and a website on the planet right jobs and lives with his parents like doesn't have a steady income or if you're like 10 out of 10 like stunning model most beautiful girl he's ever seen and he's like unhealthy unattractive like never been with someone else it's four minutes long we're literally we're we're like almost 10 seconds away from the ending thank you so he like gets intimidated and, and unfortunately like psychs himself out maybe in that case but chances are that's not what your dating dynamic is and it's just that your personality isn't for him he just doesn't like it but he's not intimidated by you love this girl wish that i could give her a hug because i have never heard another woman say this especially on tiktok normally it's the strong independent boss babes that don't need no man and if you say something like this you are ridiculed and attacked and called a pick me or misogynist in the comment section which very well could be happening i don't know because i haven't gone to check the uh, current status of the video because as i mentioned i saw this when it was first posted um but it's just insane she's 100 percent correct the accountability that she's taking here talking about her past and the way that she's you know matured and realized this is just so self-aware and again just so refreshing to hear and she's someone who has a female following which is even better to see i cannot tell you how many times i have heard women say well guys just don't like me because they're too intimidated by me or i'm intimidating or things didn't work out because he was you know intimidated by my success and i made too much money for him and blah 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 men don't care how much money you're making. That's a woman thing that women care about in men. So then when we're dating, we think that men care about the same things that we do, when in reality, not even close. And they just don't like you, probably because if you're approaching dating with this, I'm too intimidating mindsets, or you are an independent boss babe that don't need no man, he doesn't like that about you. And you have a bad attitude and you're just not very likable. I did a video reacting over on TikTok to a woman saying, um, 
Why, have you wondered why men are choosing real. Wonder Bread women? Basically saying, do you wonder why men choose average women over you when you are real. a divine French croissant, basically high maintenance and all of this stuff. And it has nothing to do with the fact that these women are not as good as you. It's Wonder just that they don't women. like you. And by saying that a man doesn't like you because they're too intimidated by you or you're too good for them or you're too high maintenance, it's just honestly a cop out for bad behavior. It's a way to take no accountability for yourself and the fact that you might just not be very likable. And in the Wonder Bread croissant case, I think if you have to put another woman down to feel better about yourself and why things aren't working out for you, that tells you all you need to know about yourself. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. Shark, I'm going to throw hands. Let, let, us dis, let us discuss. All right, Chad, let us discuss. So what do you, Hemi, 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 what do you think? What's she cooking? I think it's, I, I think it's interesting. I think, I think, there, I think there, are parts, there are parts to it that are very interesting. Well, she is putting women down. Well, sorry, okay, but a lot of it is not great and way too generalized. It could be a little generalized. She's onto something. That's what I think. Personally, I think she's onto something. I don't like, I, I feel like incorporated with the rest of her content, it, sound, it sounds better. If you just kind of watch it, you know, it, itself, just like, you know, by itself, I feel like it would look pretty bad. Are you serious right now? So what I mean by that, I will cook her. Ah, what, what, I, what I mean by that is the sort of, well, you know, you know, the, the classic thing about, and I've stopped doing it a lot, but you know, that classic thing when we talk about people, you know, like you got to be so careful. Um, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just do me and then we'll figure out how it goes. Okay. You know, you know, that type of thing that people say when it comes to like cringe, uh, like cringe and misogynistic men like Tate and like Tate followers, Keem, you know, a lot of these types of people is that what typically like the typical, the typical comeback is just like, you're insecure right like like that thing like you're really like you're super in, insecure or you're scared or intimidated by women just basically like all of these things right and though in even though that can be like a part of it it's not necessarily always true that it's the intimidation that is the problem it could just be that you're in basically what what i got from this is what is women say when relationships don't work out that wasn't my fault wasn't my problem and uh, he was intimidated by me because I'm just so strong and cool and based when the reality of the situation was that like you weren't compatible and you may not have had the best attitude going into the relationship. Having an opinion. Now, personally, I didn't hear her say having an opinion is a deal breaker because like even the girl, she was like when you're super. It seemed like they were lumping argumentative and opinionated together. And what they meant to say was just a argumentative and not opinionated because she says i'm just she says i'm opinionated i'm just like an opinionated person and i didn't think that she was just going to like just change her personality like that but argue like are being argumentative and being opinionated i personally think are two different things because i'm opinionated i'm a very opinionated boy but i wouldn't say that i'm necessarily very argumentative i'm not i, I I'm, a, I'm a little argument averse actually if i'm going to be completely honest with you this feels very niche I mean, you you could, you could. I mean, I guess you could say that. Personally, from I can, I just see like something like this bleeding out into um things that we see very often, especially that sort of that guy is just insecure when it's when it's not really the insecurity that's the problem. He could be very <laughs> insecure and be just a narcissistic, really bad person, and he's not like insecure. He's just like a bad guy. This this video doesn't help women whatsoever. I'm not sure if this is made for women. I don't know. Saying that trad wives are better than working women. Let's let's watch some more. And the growth that you need to be taking. Um, but in this case, I think it's great that, you know, she was able to say men are not intimidated by me. They just maybe didn't like me because I had a bad attitude. If you are a boss babe with a bad attitude, you've got princess mentality and want people to treat you like you're up on a pedestal all the time, or you're independent and don't need no man, those are probably the reasons why the men don't like you, not because they're intimidated by you. The first thing I wanna talk about here is that women tend to go for men who are either at their level financially or success-wise or above them. This is hypergamy, it's real, it's true, it's not some myth made up by you know people on the internet. This is- The hypergamy. The, hy the hyper hypergamy. I mean, some women just don't want a man in their life, and that's something uh, we got to live with. Uh, true, but I don't think those women would be dating around, would they? Are are there like a bunch of women who like really don't don't want and don't need a man in their life, but then they go, "I'm I I can't wait to start dating around." 
Hyper gammy? I thought normal gammy was bad enough, honestly. Hyper gammy sounds more like you have 20 wives and husbands. I don't know the official term for hyper gammy. I, I, I don't remember it. It, it was, it, it's, an old, it's an older term that I just haven't heard that often. I think, I think like, is, isn't the definition of hyper gammy like uh, women will date up the like social hierarchy ladder, typically? Well, you want to date, but it's also nothing serious. Yeah, well, and I, I would imagine that uh, that would make you more unlikable, just aver on average. The hypergamy is like the 80-20 rule. I think it's like associated with the 80-20 rule. The action, well, here, this is the... Hypergamy. Okay, hypergamy. This is the dictionary definition of hypergamy. The action of marrying or forming sexual relationships with a person of superior sociological or educational background, which I think, well, that's... Well, we we know that part's just true. We know that part's just factually true. I mean, just typically do that. And guys typically do it as well. Well, guys like it. Yeah, the marrying up thing. Or dating up, marrying up with somebody who's of a higher social class or of a, a higher uh, money bracket. It do not matter. I hope lesbian women are trying to marry and date men. That'd be depressing. I, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I think they should not, personally. I think they should... Um, be averse to that activity. Hypergamy is hopping on 20 PPs a day, Shark. Yeah, I think like when we hear the term hypergamy, it's typically only it's typically only associated with like weirdo freak incels. No, I was wrong. Stop. We need to stop. I think uh capitalism does hype up hypergamy, but it's not natural. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I do I I person if I was just to do my armchair psychology I would say that it's like an outcropping of the sort of thing that you hear a lot of straight girls say when it comes to their like relationships with men they like a, they like a man who's physically larger than them because they like the idea of being protected or having like a or it's basically the the relationship goal of you know that part of adventure time where Finn feels bad and he's sad and then Jake just grows to be really big as like a and it starts raining and he grows to be like really big as like a tarp over him to stop him from getting rained on. That's what they that's what a lot of girls like in their relationships. You know, they like that sort of like dynamic, but they like bring it out to like an entire relationship and they want to be the small Jake and they want their they, my bad, they want to be the small Finn and they want their boyfriend to be the big Jake. No short kings being paladin dwarfs. Well, I didn't say that it's like a hard and fast rule that no other girl, like no girls would ever like care. I do, I'm just saying that your av I think your average girl, your average straight girl would be like, yeah, that's great. I like that. It's hard finding a guy shorter than 4'11". It's hard finding a girl who's as short as 4'11", too, honestly. But yeah, I feel you. And, on the, and like, this is not saying that like there's like a cutoff. We've talked about this before. That when it comes to your average straight woman, she does typically care about her guy being taller than her, but it, it's simply that, just simply being taller than her, not being of a certain height, usually. I love a girl who's 4'11". Well, there you go, T. You've, you're in. Also, Peanut, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Hypergamy also feels like demonizing the person marrying up. But it feels, yeah, but I, I feel like it could be, so here's like a thing for me, and I'm going to talk about this for a moment. You may be like, shark, what the heck? But I was like 15, okay? So cut me some slack. I remember on, I remember while I was, while I was just walking around the house, my dad was busy watching like M MSNBC or something on, on, on the television after work. And somebody said the word like Mexicans, Right. But he said it in a very, but the way in which he said the word Mexicans or right, like or whatever, made it, it was like there's something wrong. I even me at like 15, I could pick up there was something wrong with the way he said the word Mexicans. You know what I mean? Just on MSNBC. <laughs> it's like 2014, okay? So understand this. Like 20, yeah, like 2014. So understand this. Them, them, right? Yeah, Mexicans slur. Yeah, Mexicans derogatory, right? But I, but they were like talking about Mexicans as just like you know, simply your average Mexican. Not like I don't think they were calling them slurs or anything this on the TV. Is very real. They were just like, yeah, Mexicans. And I, I turned to my dad. I'm like, the way, I don't. I was like, I don't know why, but like th when they said Mexicans, I felt like there was something wrong. I felt like it was like bad to say that. 
even though they literally even though it's a descriptive term and the word mexicans also isn't like an insult you know what i mean so it's it's kind of like that right where the connotation of the way you hear that can be problematic and so i just think i don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with the word hypergamy or the idea that it describes it just seems like reasonably true in the sense that women typically do like to date and marry guys who make more money and who are more famous than them typically just on average or more like have more social clout than them just typically on average and guys like to date girls who make less money than, are, than them and are smaller than them and are lower on the social status wrong typically i mean we've talked about haven't we talked about this before i don't think this is very like i don't think anybody should be surprised about this like we've talked about the idea of, haven't we talked about this before like the idea of like especially professional especially in the sense of like professional women like when it like the the differentiation when it comes to women and men when they like a- attain more like social clout and money like when guys move up the social clout hierarchy their dating prospects grow and when women move up the social hierarchy their social clout drops right well their, well, their dating prospects drop right that just typically that just typically happens like a lot of like a lot of i think there have been like several articles and like normie news publications who have talked about this before yeah so they say that society ought to be like this yeah i don't wait how did she use it i forgot it's we've been so long since i've heard her voice and want people to treat you like you're up on a pedestal all the time or you're independent and don't need no man those are probably the reasons why the men don't like you not because they're intimidated by you the first thing i want to talk about here is that women tend to go for men who are either at their level financially or success wise or above them this is hypergamy it's real it's true it's not some myth made up by you know people on the internet this is a real thing that we do biologically Statistically, it's safe for me to say this. Only 22% of women out-earn their husbands. And as women out-earn their husbands, their relationship satisfaction tends to decrease for themselves and also the man that they're with. Why? Because women typically want to be with someone who is at their level or above, as I mentioned. Now, this is not the case for every single woman on the planet. There are women out there dating men who make less or are less Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd say it's biological, but also I haven't seen any studies to talk about if to talk about like women wanting to date up the social hierarchy is typically well date up from you know just like date up i guess Uh, or or like men dating down i'm not sure if it's if i'd say it's biological or we're just kind of it's like an instinct that we have i feel like too often we like to go back to like evolutionary science to describe like what's happening in in society but you know the fear of hypergamy is the f- same fear of like Jewish nepotism from an anti Semite. It might exist, but it uh, uh, but it doesn't matter if it did. It's a vague signifier to represent all problems in your life. Um, well, from well, just like I don't know about Jewish nepotism, but like nepotism in and of itself is like a bit of a problem. It's kind it's kind of cringe, is it not? And like hypergamy, I mean, like it, it happens. I don't know if I mean, I, I, I just don't know. For me personally, like when I typically talk about it, I just typically talk about a descriptive. I've never, I, I like, I've, I've never looked into the prescriptive stance on hypergamy. I just, I just don't know. Um, I don't know if anybody has any research on it. I guess you can let me know if there's any like the science out there on on hypergamy and dating and like men wanting to date a girl who makes less money than them or, or something i guess you can let me know is it a feature of patriarchy well it could be well so some things could be like enforced because of like socially or legally enforced because of patriarchy but in and of itself is not necessarily a patriarchy thing right so i wouldn't i wouldn't say that a woman wanting to be like barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen as her like husband works and she pumps out kids and cleans the house in like a pretty sundress and then sews and reads novels and that's like her and that's like her whole life i don't think that's like like women ought to do that that's a part of patriarchy women just having the option to do that or if they just did it that wouldn't be right not a woman would love to be barefoot and pregnant though well i'm glad you're putting out feelers maybe somebody can dm you maybe you could uh see what happens women should do whatever they want i don't know if they should be doing whatever they want i've seen some crazy women in my life and i don't believe that those women should do whatever they want (laughs) have you seen some girl have you seen the girlies out there like not all of them are okay 
And so not all of them should do what they want. Hot, successful women aren't getting matches, and here's why. Well, I well I, I know about it already. Well, well, in, we well we've talked about it already. The idea of like the more the more successful a woman gets, the smaller her dating pool gets. Typically, this is true, right? Hot, successful women aren't getting matches. No, all the hot. I got any hot, successful women in chat? who are not getting matches. I'm a lawyer who had to take that off my profile because I wasn't getting any matches. When I did get matched, it um I was getting asked for free legal advice. <laughs> oh no. When I was 23, I bought my first house and I was quite excited about it and proud of it, so I put the picture of me in front of my house with the sold sign as the first picture on Tinder and uh, just a dramatic drop almost immediately in the amount of matches I was getting. As a PhD with a master's, I had the same problem. I had changed it to student and I was fine. Yes, I took it off. I had a, I had a business. I changed it to hairdresser and it completely changed. I used, uh, uh, I used to have uh, my course, Mechatronics Engineer. Oh my goodness. My profile, I got, and I got no matches. Then I changed it to barista and it came flooding in. I would love to be with a successful woman woman uh because i love money true true that's pretty true but also you know what you know what i've started to think you know what i kind of wanted to do like a little mini video about every once in a while you know just just being around a lot of like the league of letters i've seen something very interesting which is like the big divide between like league of letters people and like non league of letters people when it comes to understanding like roles in society and what they think about roles in society you know what i mean especially gender i'm a poor woman that means you're you're in a great you're in a great position to get a uh to get a, a, a rich boyfriend i'm rooting for you buddy i wouldn't date a lawyer but mostly it's because i like crime too much is it the algorithm excuse me hetero dudes what's going on in general uh guys think that uh we can bring in sorry uh, sorry guys are thinking what we can bring to the table uh, more of self-confidence and self-worth thing and the value when it comes to provide, we're thinking it would be amazing. This would be amazing woman settle for me. We're thinking, why would this amazing woman settle for me? You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm going to be open here. And some of you would be like, shark, what the heck? I also feel the same way these guys did. If I met any, if I was like scroll swiping and I saw like any of these women and they had this on their profile, I would, I would swipe left. I would not, I would not swipe right on them. I would not speak to any of these women. But that's just that's just me personally, and I <laughs> yeah I, I remember it specifically. Okay, I was I was back when I was on Tinder. I was swiping on Tinder. I want to be a boy wife. I was I was swiping on Tinder, and I and I just randomly got this match with a girl that I completely forgot that I swiped on, and she was very beautiful, incredibly pretty, it like well educated, had everything going on for her, training in med school to be a psychiatrist. Just like the, her first picture was her at her own 20 year old birthday party with her and her also very hot friends. Um, oh, and they were all in like dresses and stuff like that. And they were all very beautiful. And she's like, I have a great job. I have a great education. I'm very pretty. And I'm like, what? and then I just like went to the un and then I like went to the top right and then I clicked on the little gear and then I clicked on the unmatch and <laughs> I'm like there's no way this girl wants to talk to me like this I, I don't even want to waste my time there's no way this girl wants to talk to me there's zero there is zero reason for this woman to talk to me and, and on like God's green earth literally zero I feel the same right you're self-sabotaging? No, I'm protect it's called protecting my peace. This woman does not want to talk to me. If I can unmatch her before she unmatches me, because there's no there's zero reason. She swiped on me by accident. Okay? There That's are two things that were going real. to happen after we matched. Which was I'm like, oh my gosh, she's so great. I can't believe I finally I got I got the score of a lifetime. And I hit her up and she never talks to me back. She never she never like messages me back. Or she's bored, so she starts flirting with me, but just because she's bored and then she never messaged me again. Or actually no that's it those are the only two options of what could happen that's it that's literally that's literally it and so instead of instead of dealing with that i just kind of unmatched her first and so she can go to find her um find a boyfriend that she actually wants because i'm not him 
<laughs> okay, listen. See, you listen. Some people will be like, "Oh, it's self sabotaging." Oh, get high yourself for esteem, king. No, it's called being realistic. Okay, it's called it's called being realistic, and it's it's just true that on average women like to like I, I just like I didn't. It's just it's, here here's here's a better way to uh, describe it. Okay, I did the calculations of what I could bring and what she could bring to the to the table, and she could bring like ten times more to the table than me. And so I decided that I just wouldn't sit at the table. Sometimes the only way to win is to not play. Normally I disagree, but you are a Twitch streamer. That's what I'm saying. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be more realistic. I, I'm, I'm a part of the men being more realistic train. And so like, it just, I couldn't, I couldn't fulfill what I needed to do in a relationship. So you, so you move on to the next table. You go where you're needed. Okay. You ever think about that? You go where you're needed. Be like water. Take the path of least resistance and you go where you're needed. Water, water pools at the lowest level. You have to do what you must. You, missed all, you miss all shots you don't take. Yes, and um, you, you not only do you miss all shots you don't take, you avoid emotional damage from all of the situ emotionally charged situations you don't put yourself in. Not realistic incel mindset. It is actually incredibly realistic. <laughs> People swipe on me. I'm hot. I'm poor, so I'm not intimidating. You're kind of small, so that that's kind of intimidating for me. So it's not women turning down guys with lower income; it's guys, uh, it's guys at the lower income turning down women due to a fear of rejection. Uh, well, I think it's both. For one, like there's inputs and outputs to every situation. It's there's never. I don't think there's any social situation that. Well, you won't hear it from me here that there's any social situation in which there's just one input or one like flavor of person is putting in and the other and the other person is just like sitting there like that doesn't happen i don't know which one came first and honestly i don't really care what i do know is that it just does happen right a lot of guys like short girls that is true you guys don't date enough if you think women uh, uh won't date you even though you're still compassionate yeah like so here's the thing here's the thing okay that we, that, that we need to understand it's not about not dating. I don't think I would never be able to get like a girl who's more successful to me than me on average or like has more money or like just just so I, I, like let's let's just keep it in simple terms like date up. OK, it's not like I would never think that I could never date up with like a just like a one just like some random woman. Um, It's 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 probability. OK, this is how social interactions work. There's no there's literally zero for me. Like it just doesn't seem like it's worth the the emotional struggle to go through when it comes to something that's so that there's like so much lower of a probability of happening right like is is it like for me i could spend the rest of this stream taking my taking my like lotion bottle and flipping it until it lands just like straight down like this like i could just do this i don't know how long it would take it could it could take the first try it, it's possible it could take me three days to get it done. I don't know. I've never tried it before. So I feel like it would take a while. And you know what I would, you know what I'd rather do besides that? I'd rather move on with my day. I'd rather, I'd rather move on with my day and try for something that's more likely. The streets are not okay. How do you know it's a low probability of success though? I don't know. How do you know anything can happen if you've never done it before? You take an educated guess and then you move on with your life. You take an educated guess and you go, this may work, it may not work, and then you just move on with your life. Beta mindset. I'm I feel like I'm a lot less emotionally um uh damaged than your average man. So honestly, I feel like it's a it's a W. Cope, I can taste the copium. I'd rather be coping than um getting a uh, left on red for uh the fifty thousandth time. So if those are the two options, it's either um it's either getting rejected again or just like having a nice night. I'd rather just have a nice night personally. My ex history is kind of funny looking. <laughs> yeah, that this shown interest though. It's Tinder. A swipe does not mean they show interest. The, like the you could easily that could easily be a mistake, or they could simply just be bored. I don't like. I don't personally. If I was just if I was to talk to your average guy. And he was like, yo, Shar, give me advice when it comes to Tinder. I'd like, don't, don't think that a girl has shown like basically any interest in you until you've both agreed that you wanted to go hang out in public sometime.
I tap back on Grinder out of boredom. Well, there you go. Like, <laughs> and also the idea that girls like don't flirt with guys just because they're bored. I feel like is also cringe. Yes, they do. They do it a lot, and it's okay. It happens. I, I think guys should just have be a little bit more real, realistic when it comes to like dating girls. If I'm gonna be honest, you like just scrolling through the app. You see a new notification. Your just brain goes boop. Okay, boop. They do. Yes, they do. Actually, this meme is very real. They'll just be like guys giving me attention. I'll just flirt with him for real quick because he, he's he's flirting. I just you know, bored, whatever. And then they move on with their day. It happens. I was like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's like a big thing. It's, it's kind of like ghosting. Like I don't know, some people just don't reply again. It happens. Grow up. Move on with your life. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.